you are bound. Know you are one, pure awareness. Let the fire of this conviction burn down the forest of ignorance. everybody thank you for being here uh today we have another special guest uh, natalia thank you for being here um i don't know really how to pronounce your last name so i, I don't tell it so <laughs> later you can tell us how how to pronounce it she is from poland uh she's a very very good photographer and uh, she's anthropologist and also a Kilobi facilitator. Uh, so, Natalia, please, can you tell us a little bit who are you uh, uh, and how did you do this of the Kilobi inquiries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hi, Claudia, and thank you for the invitation. Um, so, you know, who, who am I? <laughs> This is the best question ever. <laughs> Who am I? This is my favorite question. Actually, this is <laughs> I just want to show <laughs> this guy here, which is my teacher Ramana Maharshi, and his uh, famous question. Yeah, uh, who am I? And self inquiry. And so, you know, who am I? I'm a. I don't know who am I. I'm a lover of truth. Okay, and um, I was searching for this all my life, and since I remember, and. Um, and this was like, to, to find out, it was the, the most important thing in my life because I just couldn't find myself in this world, in this body, which I know right now. I just really wasn't happy here. So I was looking for, and what I, you know, first, like my first meeting with uh, myself, my true nature was through non-dual meditation from my non-dual teachers. Mm -hmm. um, so I was on this path of uh, satsang path for like a nine years before I found Scott Killaby and Killaby Inquiries. So, and actually my satsang teacher told me about, about Scott. Um, and when, when I first time, when I, when I just went and saw some, some YouTubes of, of Scott, I wasn't, uh, it wasn't resonating with me at all. I was just like, yeah, well, yeah, nah, nah, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure I like it, you know? So, so I left it and, and, um, like, Several months later, I check check Scott again, and it was like a you know hundred percent. I just went directly to 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 you know. I just started to learn um, all the tools and and you know exploring this on myself uh, very very intensely because satsang because satsang um, which is really and this is this is very important because for me Kilby inquiries are just uh, like the same. It's just like like a much more skillful satsang it's mm. not anything different from which took me some time to realize this because uh you know i was aware of voices in my head telling me that you know you're doing something wrong by by doing inquiry like awareness is enough like you should just only you know rest as awareness etc and everything's gonna be taken care of mm. uh, <laughs> yeah so it took me a while to to really see these thoughts and um for what they are so um yeah okay i lost the thread <laughs> <laughs> so i went to your web page and i see that you have like amazing photographs pictures but also i mean i don't know when was this switch from your artistic 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 part and anthropologies intellectual part to go to do like Kilobi inquiries, like, I mean, why you decide this? I mean, you you just tell us like a little bit like, oh, I decide to go to a Scott. But can you go more deep uh, about this? Yeah, yeah, thank you for this question. Because um, like I said, I was looking for 
searching for something all my life and I was just like, you know, when I was studying anthropology, I was looking for some words like philosophers, you know, some, some, mm -hmm. I don't know, something, just some threads to, to, and I was like catching some pearls through here and there. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, you know, just looking for this essence that I, because, and, and like, it was the path of, of many disappointments, like this one after another, uh, because mm -hmm. I was, I was see, seeing, you know, step by step that, um, anything is giving me what I need, what I truly need. So experience, like real, real experience, not only understanding, not only because understanding wasn't giving me much, to be honest. Um, it wasn't like, it wasn't alive. I was, I was really needing something, something alive and I was looking for this. And so photography and art, and I love also painting. Um, these are, I, I also was, was looking for, I studied, um, fine arts also. So I was, I was looking through art, the same thing, the same essence, the same truth. And I couldn't find this there, to be honest. <laughs> I, I just couldn't find this there. <laughs> so until I found my, my teacher who just, you know, directly showed me, just pointed out to, to, to awareness. And that was like, like a first, oh my God. <sighs> wow. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> it's something weird happened, you know, something weird happened and it happened for a first time. And then many, many other, you know, beautiful moments which was like, which were deepening my, my understanding and my perception. But this very first shift of perception was, actually I went back to, to my school, to my fine arts school, uh, after one of those meetings, satsangs, and I realized that there is some space between what I feel, between emotions. I remember I was feeling something not very, unco not very comfortable, like, you know, something, I remember, I just saw some, some friend, which I didn't like back then. And I just got triggered. And I realized for the very first time in my life that it wasn't glued, like it wasn't together. Like it wasn't only the emotion, like I, I am this emotion, but it was really like the, I was aware of this emotion. And this, this, this experience was so huge. It was such a huge difference for me. And it started, you know, it was a very, it was a very beginning for me. Yeah. Thank you, Natalia. It is yeah. very, yeah, it is very, very nice. Um, well, now I want to know more about this Kilobi method and uh, that I know that you become a very good facilitator and you are, you know, you, you tell us that you are very deep into this and I also practice it now, <laughs> uh, like a... <clears throat> client and it's working it's, it's really working but also i have a lot of like resistant to to go there <laughs> yes oh yeah exactly <laughs> it's like <laughs> no it's always like i know i prefer to i mean to be positive always and to be like in the realm <laughs> yes so why is good for people to to know about uh, these methods you know how this method works uh, can you describe? I know that now uh, Scott uh, have a map, you know, so maybe you can go there or no. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I can try. I, I'm going to try. It's not, it's not that easy to go there, but okay. I can try. So, so, mm, so Kilo inquiries are like awareness based somatic inquiries. So it's a, like, like a, like Ramana Maharshi self inquiry. Who am I? But it's just much, much, much deeper. It goes much deeper. It's like an embodiment of, of this truth. Who am mm -hmm. I? And actually here I wanted to say, because his words, which I, which I really love and I uh, are very precious to me, like th the world is illusory. This is like the first step to see. The world is illusory. Only Brahman is real. And Brahman is just another word for God or awareness. So mm -hmm. Only Brahman is real, this realization. Oh my God, the reality is just this. Only God is real. And then the, the Bra Brahman is the world. Like back again to, to the world, to everything that is appearing. So like coming back and this part for me is what Kilobi inquiries are about. Just going with, from the awareness, from this 
untouchable foundation of everything just from there diving deep 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 as deep as possible to mm -hmm. just every unseen part that drives our behavior yeah so it's just a really skillful deprogramming of every every mechanism that we we I don't know, we, we, you know, because it's, it's, these are the mechanisms are not only in my perception. Okay. This is my, my own experience are not, not only from all of my life. So like 30 some years and, you know, like my parents life, like generational things, but also cult cultural collective stuff that also in, like my, from my past life stuff, not that everyone mm -hmm. believes in the, in mm -hmm. those, but I do. And this is my experience. So this is like really, really going, you know, as deep as this is, you know, there's no end for me. I, I don't, I don't know if there's any end for this, to this work, but just to just em embrace, just bring up, just bring up from, so, so, to, so the tools, what are, what tools are doing and this here, okay, these are, are, this is, this is a place for, for the map. So let's just speak about the. Uh... So why is um, why people should go to you uh, to look for um, how do you say a facilitation? Uh, uh, no, uh, and wh what do you offer to them that is different from from the others, others uh, facilitators? Oh, from the others, was it other facilitators? Uh, from, yes. I think you know. <laughs> what is your like? <laughs> What is the difference, like uh, something that you give to others that, for example, nobody else are going to give to your client? Yeah, I think it's just a, it's just a thing of, of feeling, of just feeling, it's, you know, you, you just look at someone, you, 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 you hear their voice and just you, you, you feel this or not, you just want to work with, with someone or not. I think this is just a thing of, of this feeling. And this is just, it's there or, or it's not there. I think it's very simple, I, I guess. It's just this. So I would say it's just, just to, you know, so listen to your intuition, but it's easy to say, <laughs> listen to your intuition. I, I didn't, I, like, I used to not know how to do this. That was the issue. I came to, to, to Kilo B inquiries, not knowing how to listen to myself. So that was the issue. So, so, you know, so my path was like, I told you, like in this satsang and I was hiding really skillfully <laughs> hiding in awareness, like hiding in meditation and hiding in, you know, just disappearing. Okay. I was, I was just gone. I was out. I wasn't here. And that was my favorite state, my favorite, um, yeah, my favorite state. And so, so, by digging really deep, really deep, like the deeper, like third dimensional work, which is like the, my, my favorite, I just love it. Okay. I just love it. And it's, it's saving my life. So by going there, I'm just bringing my life back. I, I don't know how to better express this because I'm just really, yeah. So. I can, I can go with someone as a facilitator only as far as I went with myself. I cannot take someone further than I went with myself. So this is, this is, yeah, this is what I, this is just how it is for me. So people who I work with are mostly from satsang so they share my my path we share the same the similar very similar path so very similar issues and very similar you know um yeah issues so like like deep repression of our power of of this rage rage anger uh energy um yeah so this is in the, this we have in common for sure so yeah please ask more because i i i, um, I don't know what to say more about this <laughs> yeah i don't know about any sunset when it's for the buddhist uh, technique or something uh, i'm not sure what you are speaking about but ah, okay. <laughs> so, so, uh -huh. 
Okay. Um, it's the foundation of of uh, Caleb inquiries as well. It's just a mm, very direct pointing to awareness. So. It's just the foundation of Caleb inquiries, uh, actually, and also to when you when you do when you when you are inquiring into these programs and allowing them to relax, then you can you can deeper and deeper experience your true nature. So it's it's. it's it's again, it's about the same thing. It's about just being yourself, your true self, so which is awareness. By bringing, bringing to, to the surface, to the awareness, consciously, skillfully, all the deepest shit, I want to say. I'm sorry for this word, but yeah. All the things that we weren't able to, to look at and to feel to basically emotions, like this is this was my 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 main issue um with which i came to in to ki to kill inquiries to to work with and uh, the, the the this this terrible huge fear mm -hmm. huge fear to express myself and to express what is the most intimate and most important for me which are the things we, that we are we are talking about right now so to to share this with others was just i just couldn't do this i wasn't able to do this all my life i was just shut down completely so right now in our conversation i feel i am i'm 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 nervous mm -hmm. because of this but this is just like you know I, I i wouldn't be able to to even meet with you uh before i started to do ki okay yeah like I'm a living proof right now. <laughs> yes, I have to share with you and the public also. I am I study history and art history and the thing that I feel I like I love also the things that you say, the pearls that give us these kind of careers. But the thing that I afraid all the time is go in public. So I never can a person show myself to a talk. Uh, to I never, never, never show myself to a talk. So then, uh, my career it was a fail, fail was a fail because a historian, a good historian, and a good art history historian have to go and speak in front of a lot of people, you know. <laughs> and I can't, I can't do it, you know. I can't do it like this in a video, you know, like here with you, you know, but. I mean, in magic. I mean, when I am in the members area with Kilabi and with the Scott, it's like, I'm afraid, totally afraid. You know, it's like, no way. So, yeah. mm -hmm. and now yeah. I, it's a big, a huge step for me to do these inter interviews, you know, and uh, place my face there, you know, <laughs> put my face there, like you'd say, you know, also. And I appreciate your sincerity and also maybe our public will do it. <clears throat> uh, because this is how, how we grow up, yes, like human beings. It's showing our our vulnerable parts, not I mean, yes, being perfect is, is good, yes. It's good to do things in a perfect way, but we cannot be perfect all the time. And we also know that, I mean, we are coming from the perfection, from the source of perfection. And we are here in these human lives to, I mean, to go back to the perfection, yes. But in this transition, we have a lot of imperfections and vulnerable parts that we have to work with, yes. Yeah, but how do you know? And this is this was your question, very very important question. How do you know what is negative or and what what is positive? What is what what does it mean imperfection? Like how do we know this? When, where, how we learned what is negative? Exactly. Oh my God! Just like you know. Mm -hmm. So so this is this is the, the, the this is so fascinating with this like. <laughs> What does it even mean that something is uncomfortable? How do you know that this is uncomfortable? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
how do you know that something is uncomfortable or is not uh, it's breast, bad it's not good uh, like not good because the society teach me yes it's a collective knowledge it's a collective thing to know you know if i say hitler is good everybody is going to hit me you know everybody is going to say you are bad yes if i say uh Killing is uh, something entertaining, you know? Yeah, I like it. Everybody is going to say you are wrong, you know? So then maybe I have this dark part in me, you know? But I never going to show up because everybody is going to tell me that I am a very bad person, you know, to tell that. So maybe I have a Hitler inside me. Maybe I have like a, also a saint. Uh, a saint inside me that yeah. is super pure, you know, and yeah. never want to speak bad things and anything. But also society don't like saints. They do a lot of bullying about saints, you know. You saw all these TV shows and say, oh, she's a virgin and she's 20 or something. Oh, no, it's like very bad, you know. Or she doesn't know how to say bad words. She doesn't know <laughs> whatever, you know. So then we are like kind of taking these personalities, shapes, you know, these masks, masks yeah. in ourselves. So you maybe can speak about it. It's, it's what it is. It's got Kilabi and the method is uh, working, you know, with with us. Like, yeah. It's just, it's bringing, it's bringing the natural flow of energy back. Okay. It's bringing this back by acknowledging with, from this unconditional love, these dark, let's say, dark places, spaces, and just turning attention, actually for the very first time in life, turning attention to, toward toward this these parts not away from them which we were doing right so so just bringing attention directly there where i didn't want or i couldn't look before and this is possible only because we're doing this from awareness as awareness so it's okay because it, it is already allowed. It is already allowed. The the thing that is saying that it's bad or is labeling this, these things, these aspects of our life. Oh my God, but this is so innocent. How to say about this? It's, it's, it's such a complex stuff and it's at the same time so simple. <laughs> So let's say on an example, like um, I was struggling for this perfection. I was struggling to be the purest. I really wanted to be so pure, so pure. But why? Because deep, 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 I, I believed that I am not pure. I am not pure. So I, I was trying so hard to attain this purity, to attain this because I couldn't see that, like you said, that our source it's already untouched. It's already like only pure love. There is nothing else. This is like this middle. Only Brahman is real. Th this true love. This is like this unconditional love. It's just our source. But it's so. How to say this? Oh my God! It seems so simple, and yet I don't know how to say this. <sighs> So let's say like a little baby, okay? A little baby was, I don't know, getting angry or, or, or scared or scared. And, and, and mom, mother couldn't just stand this. I was, was very nervous herself because she, she couldn't stand this, this energy. It was, I don't know, whatever it was, anger or fear or, 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 or sadness, deep sadness, just in herself. So, so she was not capable of, of, of hold this space for the baby. She couldn't stand this energy in the baby because she couldn't stand this in herself because mm -hmm. no one told her 
because she she wasn't aware because no one you know it's ongoing right it's, it's from from the very beginning so 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 this baby just had to had to adjust itself by this nervous system commands like no no i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't get angry i can't scream i can't cry i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't so so my mom so my mom's gonna love me i can't i can't because i have to survive i can't because it's safe because she's gonna take care of me if i am like this if i'm silent if i'll like in my case if i'll disappear i have to disappear mm -hmm. I, ju I just have to disappear i have to be nothing so i have to cut my all emotions that are too much it's too much is the same category category as bad or negative it's too much what is too much what does it mean it's too much so it was too much for my mom because she just couldn't it's not her fault she, like you know she also was this baby same baby that couldn't express her own energies freely because it was it wasn't allowed yeah back then so so and on top of this this baby I, let's say me i learned how to how to get what i need so love attention care uh by behaving in a way that I learned is very, 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 um, how to say, I, I'm lacking English word for this, wanted, let's say. So, so um, I can gain this by behaving, by smiling, by being pretty, by being nice, by being a great okay. listener, okay? <laughs> so that was my, these are my, my, my mechanisms. I was like this. I was just nice, pretty, a good listener, silent, quiet, happy all the time. You know, <laughs> it's hard work. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's such a hard work that I I I, I ended with um, uh, addiction. I, I I'm addicted to alcohol also. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is like one of my 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 things. So. So what we are doing in Kilab Inquiries, we are just layer after layer after layer deprogramming all these mechanisms. But at the at the at the core of like the, the at the very bottom of 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 these mechanisms are it are it is pure energy. It's just pure energy mm -hmm. that wasn't able, like wasn't able to 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 flow freely. So by going there with your attention and skillful inquiry to pr questioning like uh, forcing system to to just show up the, these these mechanisms like to, to just <laughs> <laughs> okay. i don't know how to explain this better but it's just you know like you're like triggering 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 the system and it's 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 just <laughs> It's just showing the tr tr true belief um, very, very clearly. And, and then we're allowing this from this as this unconditional love. Actually, we are, we are with these things as long as they need to be here so they can relax back to, to awareness. And so energy is, is, is freed and can flow more, more naturally. <laughs> Yeah, I, lo I love your example. Thank you, Natalia. Uh, so what I I can see is that uh, Kidobi is trying to take us deep in our subconscious, in our all this kind of darkness, and then come back with a lot of light, with awareness that we already know our shadows, and then like this, we can know which situations are going to trigger us, and then we are like we are prepared. We are not going to be triggered in the same way. Uh, yeah, but but not only this, not only this, no, no, not no, no. This, what, no, 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 no. What is happening, and this is my experience, is just that I am no longer triggered. Not only trigger. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. It's just, I, and it, it's somehow, it's not, sometimes it's not easy to, to catch this because it's so, the, the, this, these changes are so fluent and it's just, they are so, so, you know, they just flow like this day by day. So 
after some time I can only just look back and see, oh my God, I, I, I had today some similar situation that like, uh, I don't know, two months ago, and that was just not a thing for me. It was nothing, like it was just uh, nothing, okay? Something that I was just, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know, just oh, <laughs> like this. And today it's just, pff, well. It's like you're, yes, you're laughing about yourself, like, why I was triggered about that, yes? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, or I don't even, re I don't, it's not, it's just, it's neutral, it's neutral, it's, I don't even, you know, I, I'm not bothered by, by, by something any longer. This is what, what happens, this is amazing, this is the magic. It's just yeah. unbelievable, actually. And other stuff, other stuff, like, like you were saying, that I, I'm just aware, like, I, like right now, I am aware that my body is, you know, is, is just, is still afraid, there's still fear here in, in my experience, in my, my system, but but it's okay. Like I, I'm aware of this and there is space for this. This fear can be here. It's okay. It can be here. And this is love, okay? To just welcome back all these poor children <laughs> that were just, you know, just go away, go away. I don't want you here. You're bad, you're ugly, you're nasty. You're, I don't know, too noisy or too much, you're whatever. So we are bringing back all these aspects of ourselves. Wow, that is like embracing ourselves, and then yes. we don't, we don't hurt others because we already love the, this negative part of us. So then we can embrace the negative part also. I mean, we, I, I don't know if it's negative part or whatever how yeah. to call it. Just, yeah. just. Yeah. Uh, so nice. Uh, you speak also about addiction and many things that Kilobit can work with you, you know. So you also can work with addiction in other people's yes. traumas and all these kind of things, yes. past lives. Um, yeah. Um, so very quickly. So how do you... Uh, it's the same method, no? You just go deep or you just begin to work with the addiction, yes? Or you just want to work with the trauma like or mm -hmm. um so what happens when when i'm or f first we have just you know clarity call so like a an hour-long conversation where i'm asking questions and we are just getting to know each other with, with the client but um so but it's each session i'm, I'm starting with just where they are like I'm meeting where they are, and I, and I like, like, like for example, like if we if we were working together, it's your your body that is leading the session. Actually, I I, I like to start with the body and how it how you you know how it feels in the moment, and it's it only it's it, it always know knows where to lead us. This is amazing. This is like really really amazing. So we 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 can also like work with you know with um, problems, issues, but um, from my experience, it's like really bo body is guiding the session. Okay. I don't know how to explain this better, but um... yes, like if I have my uh, a pain right now in my stomach, mm -hmm. you will say to ask the stomach, no, what is happening? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And if your idea is to that today you want to work with, I don't know, with uh, an issue with your ex-boyfriend, let's say. Uh, and your body is saying something different. <clears throat> I would listen to your body, <laughs> but oh, well, we can check. I don't know. We can check. It could be. It could be um, because also sometimes it's like that. Um, you you want to work with like client want to work with some some area, and we're starting with the body, and actually we're going there to the to the same to the same subject that uh, he or she wanted to to work on. So it's 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 amazing, really. So do you work with, with couples and also with groups or you just work with individuals, uh, with one oh, person? Uh -huh. No, no, sessions are one-on-one, -on -one, are uh, individual sessions, but uh -huh. actually I do work, I, I, I do work with, with a couple. With a couple, okay. Uh, yeah. So do you teach anything uh, beside uh, Kilobi facility, uh, the Kilobi? Do you give workshops or something or you uh, want to say something else to our public uh, do you wish to to offer <laughs> offer something else that i didn't cover in our questions thank you 
Thank you, Claudia. Um, no, no, I'm focusing on individual sessions right now. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. But I'm open, you know, I'm very open. But I just, this is, this is what I'm doing right now. But I'm open in the future, but not now, right now. Okay. <laughs> so, did you want to say something else? Thank you. Thank you for this experience. Yeah, this is very important for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, thank you, Natalia. This was very thank beautiful you. and uh, very nice. And so, thank you for everybody for being here. Uh, if you like the topic and if you have any questions for Natalia, please comment below. And I also, I going to post the YouTube link from Natalia and her website if you want to contact her uh, directly. So you are welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Claudia, so much. Thank you for your time. It was beautiful. I appreciate it. Fire of this conviction burned down.